Good morning from London, England, the city that Anthony Bourdain called his second home. Today we are going to be going around this entire city trying his favorite meals here. Wow, that was fantastic. Anthony spent a ton of time in this city and found quite a few really good places to eat. We are starting the day off with a bang. We have come to St. John Restaurant in central London, which Bourdain called the restaurant of his dreams and his favorite restaurant in the entire world. He literally ranked this at the very top of his list. Bourdain called head chef and owner Fergus Henderson the most influential chef of the last two decades. So this place has a ton of high praise. Let's go see what it's like. How you feeling? Looks good to me. First thing on the menu is olives. I'm so excited to be here. So we've ordered Anthony's favorite dish, which is bone marrow toast with parsley salad. We also have a side of beetroot with creme fraiche, capers, and parsley. Anthony Bourdain said, and this is a direct quote, if I were laying on my deathbed and had one last food to eat, it would be this bone marrow toast. So the waiter just came by to explain how to eat this. These are obviously bones, inside is the marrow. He said to use these little bits to dig out the marrow, spread it across the toast, and then add the parsley salad on top, and then you can cut it up into slices so we can share. didn't look that appetizing when it was just the bone marrow, but now that it has the parsley and onions, it looks great. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so I've never had bone marrow before. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's very fatty, very salty. And with that freshness of the parsley, the crunchiness of the bread, it works really well together. It's really delicious. It's really unique. I would never order this, I don't think, but I'm really glad I did. It's very good. You made me nervous now. Like, I was totally fine to do it. That is so good. I'm a huge fan of parsley, so I think that helps. I honestly love it. It's like that crunch, the fattiness, the freshness. Like, you're right, and all three elements work really, really well together. They explained to us how to eat this, but they didn't explain to me this. It's supposed to be like a beetroot salad, but do I take like an element of each in each bite? I really don't know. That's delicious too. It's all so good. That was fantastic. I didn't really know what to think when you told me we we're gonna go eat marrow and toast. This was not it, and it was, I was pleasantly surprised. That is something that you could eat every day of the week. Yep. It's just no, so I, delicious. I really could. It, it hit every element I needed to feel satisfied for the lunch. All right, let's go to the next place. This part of London is so cool. There's just so many cool shops, restaurants. London wins the award for coolest buses. You driving the bus? On the wrong side. <laughs> and look, we have no one else on the bus. Get us there safely. I'm on. I have so much respect for Anthony Bourdain. I loved his show so much. In fact, a lot of the places that he went to have inspired my personal travels. And so any of his recommendations I take very seriously. I ate his favorite meal in Vietnam a couple months ago, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. Top five dish in the world. 
Mm. Oh my gosh. Not only was the food amazing, but the woman who owned the restaurant who served Anthony herself was there. She was incredibly nice. She gave me free drinks. I met other people there and it was just such a positive, uplifting experience. We thought it'd be fun to do the same thing here in London. Our next stop is Peppers and Spice. Anthony Bourdain says that this is the best Jamaican food this side of Ocho Rios. I'm not capable of consuming spicy foods, so this one might be all Jordan, but I'm excited to smell. I love Caribbean food, so I was pleasantly surprised when I saw this place on Anthony's list. It's about 30 minutes outside of central London, so off the beaten path a little bit, but it sounds like this was kind of his go-to comfort food spot. Too much fun. <laughs> so I asked the ladies in the restaurant if they remembered the last time that Anthony Bourdain had come in, and they both said yes. I told them I wanted to eat everything that he ate when he was there. So first up is this vegetable patty, and then he also loves the salt fish and cabbage, as well as greens over rice and peas. Now the restaurant didn't have any seating, so I'm just standing on the sidewalk. First up, I'm gonna try this veggie patty. Oh, wow. Okay, that's very spicy. Oh. It has carrots, peas, corn, and curry, all inside of this corn patty. That's delicious. Next up, I'm gonna try this salt fish. I don't know what type of fish salt fish is, but I see where it gets its name from. Very salty, tender, moist, and the rice, peas, and cabbage really balance it out nicely. Oh, the rice and peas are made with coconut. It's got a little sweetness to it. When I was in the restaurant, I also saw a picture of Barack Obama and his family. So apparently he visited when he was in London as well. That's the view right outside the tube station. Wait, I don't remember seeing this. Did you, do you remember seeing this? Last time we were here three years ago, Big Ben was covered in scaffolding, so we didn't see any of this. Oh, that's why. While we let that food settle, we are going to play tourist for a bit here in London and see some of the most famous sites. We have come to Big Ben, which is probably the most famous site in London. Here's a super quick fact. Only UK citizens are allowed to tour inside of Big Ben, they say for security reasons. It was built in 1859 and the bells can be heard from up to nine miles away. And right next to it is Westminster. Westminster actually holds the oldest Anglo-Saxon door in this country and it dates back to 1050. London, the city of love. It's Paris, my love. Oh. <laughs> For dinner, we wanted to find Anthony's favorite fish and chip spot in London. However, his favorite spot is in a city on the complete opposite side of the country on the coast, a few hours from here. So instead, we've looked up the top rated fish and chip spot in London, and we have come to what we believe is the best place. This fish and chips was rated the top 10 in London. So obviously we had to come, had amazing reviews. So we ordered fish and chips, mushy peas, and some waters. Tell me how the fish is. Mm. 
Perfectly breaded. Lots of flavor. Nice, like, clean fish. Doesn't give that fishy taste at all. I read that they make everything here in the house from the breading to the mushy peas, the chips, and this all tastes really good.